Hey there friends, I hope you're doing well and getting some paint on your minis. I have a confession to make. It's kind of embarrassing, but it is the truth. I have never finished painting an army. Yes, it's true. I've been in this hobby for 25 plus years and I've never painted a full army, especially not for a game like Warhammer where you need like 100 plus models just for one force to be completed. I truly struggle to sit down and paint the same models over and over and over again. Painting large units of models just drains my enthusiasm. So when I got back into Age of Sigmar about a year ago or so, what army did I pick? Soul Blight Gravelords. I love me some vampires, some skeletons, some zombies, really cool dark gothic looking stuff. And I'm an idiot because that is the army where you need to paint the most of the same thing over and over and over again. I have had 40 zombies sitting at my painting desk for over six months now. I can procrastinate with the best of them. Every time I look over at these zombies, my head goes, no, 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 please God. But when I started this army a year ago, I told myself no matter how long it takes, months, years, decades, I'm gonna get it done, but I need some help. Another confession, I've actually never used contrast paints before. I've played around with a couple of them to test them out, but that's it. Today, I leverage the contrast. I picked up a few shades of contrast paints to help me speed up this process. Mainly just using them on the skin tones. Skin can take a lot of time to blend nicely, and I was really hoping that contrast would help push me through that part of this project. For the rest of the army, I'm just using standard acrylic paints because I've already started painting this army, and I don't want to deviate from that scheme too much. I've got a bunch of skeletons, Kato Ezekiar, nice vampire guy, and half zombie, half vampire lady chick that is a controversial sculpt that a lot of people aren't too into, but I think she's pretty cool. I do take forever to paint. I believe my last unit of skeletons that I painted, 20 skeletons, took me about a month, month and a half to paint up. So yeah, this is gonna be a bit of a feat for me. I don't actually think I've ever painted this many models at once. Honestly, I think the 20 skeletons I painted was the most I painted at once. So let's double it. So I dove right in and started with the contrast paints. Don't mind the sloppy painting. That's why I'm starting with them. I just went in and slapped them all over the skin and uh, varied up the skin tones a bit. I wanted to have my zombies look like they're from maybe different places around the world or different levels of decomposition and stuff like that. The thing about sloppy painting is it's totally fine early on in a project because you're gonna be going back over with other base colors and cleaning that all up. So don't worry about it. Whether you're using contrast paints or not, you can speed through those first couple of colors and you'll be just coming in and clean things up naturally, so don't worry about it. So if you're not sure what contrast paints are, they are highly pigmented, watery paints meant to be applied over a light base color, such as white or light gray. To use them, you paint them on liberally so that they tint the raised surfaces of the miniature, allowing the primer below to show through, and then the excess paint runs into the recesses, creating a more opaque color. This means that if you're painting them over a white, for example, that the raised edges will be a lighter color, while the recesses will be darker where the paint is pooling. The effect is also amplified if you apply a Zenithal Prime like I've done with these zombies, which is where you have a dark primer from below and a lighter primer from above, casting a natural lighting effect on the miniature. I tend to do this with pretty much everything I paint, just because a Zenithal Prime makes things a lot easier to see on the model. It just makes the whole painting experience a lot nicer. So how did I find these contrast paints to be? Fantastic. I honestly don't know why I haven't used these earlier, and I think the zombie skin tones turned out just amazing. And they could definitely be amped up by doing some further highlights on them with standard acrylics, but my goal here is just to knock these out quickly. So these look good enough, on to the next step. When I first started working on this army, I wanted something that really popped. Undead armies always seem to be painted in these drab colors, many muted darker tones. Uh, deep grays, browns, reds, greens, etc. So I wanted to take a different approach. So I went with a nice pop of blue as the primary color. Bearing blue highlighted with Caribbean blue by scale color to be exact. I needed a complementary color for my blue, so I actually went with gold. The armor and chains and things like that, shackles on these zombies are painted in gold with some silver to mix it up. The gold really adds to the bright and poppy look I was going for with the army without having to lean into a complementary color like yellow or orange, which might've pushed it a bit too far in 
into that direction and it might have come across as like cartoony or something. So while yeah, it might seem a little weird that zombies have all this gold on them, I thought it was kind of cool and maybe a little regal looking. So that's the way I went and I think it's turning out pretty well. When I started this army, I wanted to do some more interesting bases as well. So I used my 3D printer and I printed out these clusters of crystals and different types of gravestones and I embedded them in mud, which I built up using a Vallejo thick mud which is a really nice product. I use it all the time. Check it out if you haven't. I painted the crystals to look like they're glowing an eerie purple, which I imagine in my head as being some kind of dark magic that's infused in them, which has caused the undead in this world to rise from the grave. Rise from your grave. Welcome to your doom. These crystals are actually a key part of what has allowed me to simplify my scheme in order to pump out the numbers more quickly. As the crystals are glowing purple, I can add in purple object source lighting from below using my airbrush, which allows for quick and colorful shading effect that also hides any mistakes I've made. So eye catching with the blues and purples and golds and silvers, it actually allows me to simplify or even completely skip over smaller details like the belts and the tassels and things like that. The lighting effect also just kind of blends these things into the background. And when there's 40 zombies to paint, that's a ton of little finicky belts and tassels to paint up. It really starts to suck up your precious time. So yeah, originally my thought process was to speed paint through these zombies, skipping over any major details, using object source lighting to hide some of these things. And while I absolutely did my best to get these done as quickly as possible, I also found myself not quite blasting through them as quickly as I had intended. These sculpts were a pleasure to paint up, even though I am now happy to have them done. They aren't buried under too many unnecessary details that can sometimes overly complicate a paint job. They are detailed enough that some interesting things can be done with them and they really pop off the table. They were fun to paint and honestly didn't feel like an absolute chore, which was surprising. So I will still say, as someone that doesn't batch paint miniatures too often, I am still dreading painting the next 40 zombies that I'll need to complete the frontline infantry for my army, alongside 20 more skeletons. However, now that I've knocked some of these out, I'm gonna go into the next batch of flesh chompers, knowing that there's some fun to be had painting them up. Thanks again for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't yet, hit that like button, hit the dislike button if you don't like my face. Subscribe if you wanna see some more of this content. Leave a comment down below. All feedback is much appreciated. So I hope to see you in the next video. And until then, paint today for a better tomorrow. Thanks, bye. God. I love my shinies. Uh-oh.